It's my pleasure to welcome the 2013 Wegmans LPGA Championship winner, NB Park, to the interview room. NB, congratulations. Thanks, Mike. Sounds so good. In addition to being the Rolex rankings number one player, uh, you've now picked up your seventh career victory, your fourth LPGA win of 2013, and your third major championship of your career following the 2008 U.S. Women's Open, the 2012 Kraft Nabisco Championship, and now the 2013 Wegmans. How does it feel? Uh, it feels so good. Um, I mean, I didn't know that I was, I was going to be able to do it today. I mean, hitting, hitting the ball everywhere today on the final round, it's, it just made my day so much tougher. And, you know, just putting my name on the, you know, Wegman's LPGA Championship trophy just means so much to me. And, you know, this is my third career of, uh, I mean, third win of in, in a major championship. So, I mean, that means a lot. And, I mean, it's just so, you know, getting a lot closer to my goals that I've set for my um, golf career. Just, uh, if you would, take us through the playoff. We asked you before the ceremony a lot about how it feels to win, but we didn't talk much about the three holes in the playoff. Just walk through that for us. How, you know, how did it go? I mean, all three holes, I, I wasn't, you know, get, I wasn't getting that nervous. I mean, I was, I think, more nervous on the final round, and, you know, because, you know, my ball was just going everywhere, and um, I wasn't too comfortable with my swing on the final round, so, I mean really expected nothing. I mean, no expectations going into the um, playoff. I mean, I was just happy that I actually made a playoff. And yeah, I mean, just trying to hit every fairway and every green. And you know, my caddy, Brad, he, he said, um, every fairway I hit, he's going to buy me a big dinner every day. So I mean, I had three fairways there. So it's three big dinner he owes me. Before, before we talk more about today, I'm just going to give you a couple statistics, and I'm going to ask you to comment on them. Uh, as was mentioned on the green, in the last 52 weeks, it's been one year since you played here where you finished tied for ninth. You've gone from number 26 in the world in the Rolex rankings to number one. Uh, you have six victories, including two major championships and 12 additional top 10 finishes. And you have $3.3 million in earnings, which is more than half of your seven-year earnings on the LPGA. How do you even react to that? I mean, just... A year ago, um, everything I think just really started to click, and yeah, everything just you know my swing was getting a lot better. Hitting, I think m my weakest part of my game was ball striking, and you know my short game and putting has been always been very good. And just I wasn't really able to you know hit the shots that I needed to. And you know starting last year, two years, I mean I started to hit the ball a lot straighter and giving myself a lot of birdies chances. And yeah, I mean. It was tough to win the second one, the Evian, after four years with no win. Um, yeah, but after that, you know, I just, you know, felt so comfortable and felt so confident. And, yeah, it's just really comfortable when I'm in the last group. And, yeah. I think. We'll take questions for NB. We ask you, please use the microphone, Jerry, right there behind you. I've read we have given your fiancé, is it, a lot of credit for your ball striking, although you resisted for a while. And I was told when my wife took up, don't ever give lessons to the person who you're romantically involved with. So how, how did it work out for you? It worked out good for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm playing, you know, best, best game in my career uh, with him. And I mean, not today with the with today way I strike the balls. But I mean, certainly I'm, you know, I have improved a lot. I mean, I want to give a lot of credit to him. John? Inby, congratulations. Um, you knew it was going to be a marathon going in with 36 holes. How much more difficult was it through, th how difficult was it to go through 36 holes mentally and physically and then to add three more holes to that? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really looking forward to playing more holes after 36 holes, but yeah, I knew that it was going to be a marathon and, you know, it was going to be many holes. I mean, even if I made a couple, bur couple boogies in the, on, you know, on the start, I knew I had a lot more holes you know, left to, um, you know, get it, and just, I, it was a tough day, it was a tough day for everybody, and I think the experience that the British, when we have to play, had to play 36 holes last year in the wind and the rain, I mean, it was a much better condition today, so, yeah, it was a much better day, and I mean, I wish, you know, I had more fairways, I mean, it was tough, and uh, tough on me, because I was, I had to hit out of the roughs every every hole pretty much on the um, 
back nine there. I mean, I think I hit like one fairway. I mean, that's very, I think a very talented shooting two over for hitting one fairway here. <laughs>